Hello everyone and welcome to the Missouri School Boards Association's board report for the month of December. We thank you for the opportunity to share some news and information during a few minutes of your board meeting. We begin with a look at the continuing impact of the coronavirus outbreak on Missouri's public schools. The latest surge of COVID-19 infections here in Missouri is making one of the most difficult school years ever even more challenging. While nearly all educators agree in-person learning is important to the success of most students, many school districts in the state have had to move to or stay with virtual instruction, at least for some grade levels. Health experts say most schools that have reopened in person with appropriate protocols have not had significant outbreaks within the school setting and that most of the virus spread is occurring in the community, not in school. Nonetheless, the recent surge has caused more students to be learning virtually, mainly due to staffing issues and the severe shortage of substitute teachers. At a recent news conference announcing new quarantine guidance for Missouri schools, Commissioner of Education Margie Van Dieven said some students continue to struggle with virtual instruction. Some students are doing quite well in this virtual environment, but others do not. And that's despite our teachers' best efforts. We're seeing our families struggle with significant amounts of stress as they try to keep up in a distance learning model of instruction. In particular, quarantine students may have difficulty interacting with their teachers to get the support they need, as many of those educators are also trying to teach their students still in person in their classrooms at the same time. Now our teachers have been working tirelessly to meet the needs of all students wherever they are. But quite frankly, it's exhausting. Educators and school board members throughout the state are also increasingly concerned about students who have become disconnected from school altogether as a result of remote learning. MSBA continues to update COVID-19 related resources available on our website. The 2021 regular session of the Missouri General Assembly convenes on January 6th with a legislature that is largely unchanged as a result of the November elections. Republicans retain solid majorities in both the House and Senate, while current Governor Mike Parson was elected to a four-year term. MSBA Associate Executive Director for Advocacy Mike Reed tells us he expects some familiar issues to be discussed during the session, including voucher proposals and charter school expansion beyond St. Louis and Kansas City. A number of people have been pushing for vouchers and, and some sort of tuition tax credits in light of, of what has happened with the coronavirus and schools not uh, meeting online and, and meeting virtually. Uh, there has been ideas floated that because of the virtual education, uh, parents should be able to uh, receive some sort of payments to, to help for uh, payment of, of outside people for, for tu tutoring or other situations. I, and I believe this is going to just be another outgrowth of that. And, and I think we'll see an, uh, a big push for that this year. Reed also says to expect an effort to establish virtual charter schools in Missouri. If you're using public money, uh, you should meet the same standards as, as, as other public schools. If you call yourself a public school and you are because you take public money, then you need to meet those same standards. That's where we are. We believe that we could go toe to toe with charter schools. Everybody should be on the same level playing field and everybody should meet the same standards. Uh, and and uh, we believe that that's, that's where it should go. MSBA will strongly oppose any legislation designed to remove curriculum decisions related to virtual courses from the local school district and will support legislation that increases accountability and oversight of charter schools. We'll be keeping you informed on developments during the legislative session through our weekly Legislative Voice newsletter, critical issue alerts, and immediate updates through Twitter. Information on legislative issues also can be found on MSBA's Action Center website. While most Missouri students have access to at least some school-based health services, there are significant gaps in providing those services to students in the state, according to a survey conducted by the Show Me School-Based Health Alliance of Missouri. The first ever Missouri-wide census of school-based health programs 
reveals 57% of Missouri students have access to at least one health service through their schools, but nearly 400,000 students do not have access to any services. The census shows significant gaps in health services for students in some southeast, southwest, and northwest Missouri counties. Molly Ticknor is the executive director of the Show Me School-Based Health Alliance of Missouri, and she says health services available in the school setting can help keep students in school. We have parents that have had to leave their jobs to go pick up their student if they're ill or if they have a mental health issue. And sometimes parents can't take off. Sometimes parents have jobs where they cannot leave. And so being able to consent for treatment from the school-based health provider and the parent to serve the immediate needs of that student and figure out what's going on and assess that and treat them on site, whereas potentially they would have had to go home or go to a hospital to get treated. Um, so it really definitely reduces some barriers that our parents and our students face. School-based health services can include mental behavioral support, physical health, primary care, oral care, and vision care. School-based health programs generally work in partnership with other health care providers, such as federally qualified health centers, nonprofit community-based organizations, hospitals, community mental health centers, and local health departments. Many school-based health programs also serve school district faculty and staff, along with families and community members. The Show Me School-Based Health Alliance of Missouri exists to improve the health of children and youth by advancing and advocating for school-based health care. The organization's goal is to ensure all children and adolescents are healthy so they can achieve at their fullest potential. That's it for this month's edition of the MSBA Board Report. Thanks for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting, and so long from Columbia.